years ago, we were here. You ready? Are you ready? My role is a combination where technology starts to meet creativity, starts to meet strategy. Bit of an odd title, but I'm uh, basically responsible for creating and editing virtual reality content, but also doing many other things. Creating a bunch of social posts that you see across Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. So for example, if you were interested in seeing a movie, you'd go onto the Facebook page for that film. The posts that you see are normally written by people who do roles such as mine. So I am co-founder and CEO of Visualize, VR studio based in London. The co-founder side of my role means that I had to come up with the idea with my partner and we had to launch a business thinking this is a great opportunity. We had to then pull together the right people and have a big plan for how we were going to grow this and make a success of it. The better you seem, the more lies you tell. The more lies you sound, the more surprise you fell into my death trap, right into my clutches. Stupid, you know the God must bless every single mighty touches I've suffered. How did I start? How far back do we go? I guess um, I wanted to, I don't know, be a doctor or, or some kind of like important scientist, but then I realised that a lot of it was like lab work and I didn't really fancy doing that. I knew I wanted to get into advertising, um, so I started working at a big agency, but I couldn't, I hadn't no experience that they wouldn't employ me. I came into this industry completely backwards. I did a degree in biology and then a master's in management and I just had a kind of entrepreneurial bug. I started an agency with a couple of second-hand computers in an attic with a mate and saw where we were going to go. I worked on the switchboard, I delivered post until eventually somebody in an agency in the building I worked in needed an extra pair of hands. From watching TV when I was a kid I was always as transfixed by the advertising as I was by the actual TV programmes and my whole family thought I was mental. <laughs> I mean, I start any process with a pencil and a notebook because that's just how I like to do things. It feels so much more tangible and it feels more real once you put it onto an actual piece of paper with your own handwriting because it's just kind of total brain dump of ideas and it can come from anywhere and you just have to kind of write down what comes into your head and then sift through all of it and some of them might be absolutely abysmal but that's fine, that's all part of the process and it's all part of the fun and it is a total mess but it ends up with something hopefully really beautiful at the end of it. In an industry like this, whether it's agency or film or marketing or digital or creative or advertising, you've got to have confidence, you've got to have faith in what you believe in. The client needs to see that you've got faith in what you believe in so that they trust you. So people that want to come into this industry um, already have so many of the necessary skills that brands value. So whether it's using Snapchat or Instagram or Facebook, the fact that they've grown up around these tools, around these platforms, that's invaluable. There are senior people here, we work with senior people every day that aren't that young, um, and I think you've always got that person to look up to. I said that you, they aren't that young. <laughs> uh, working here, what gets me in the morning is, is you don't know what's gonna happen, you don't know what new thing's gonna come out, what you could be working on, what new job could come in, there's so many different things. In the office, I know the guys, few of them have their Nerf guns frying around. <laughs> so if you, anyone, if you need someone's attention, shoot them in the back of the head or something like that with a Nerf gun. For us, we want ambition, we want excitement, we want ideas. We want people who can come and really create a role for themselves. Just kind of the idea that no day is the same. Like, I can come in on a Monday and I'll be full of work. And then like by Wednesday, working on a completely different project for a, with a completely different focus with loads of different like new technology and I mean one time I walked into our other office and there were just loads of robots there and I just played with loads of robots one day I mean how often do you ever get to do that? 
One of the really interesting things with VR is that you're trying to put people in other amazing places. So everybody wants to put a VR headset on and see what something incredible is like. And the beauty of that for us working here is that we've got to actually go there and capture that. So if we're doing tourism videos, for example, of um, Singapore or somewhere amazing like that, we've got to send a team there who goes and captures it and does all these incredible things. Or if someone's got to capture content from a helicopter or a plane or a car or whatever it is, then someone's there capturing that or with a famous sports star. So it's a really magical thing for us. It means that we've actually been in the shoes that we're trying to put people in. So it's, it's one of the most fun industries to be involved with. That's one of the great things about our job is that your clients can be based anywhere. You can be um, working on a brand or a shoot that puts you anywhere in the world. I'm a huge superhero fan and one of the best days ever for me is when I got a call from my old boss here saying did I want to work on a huge superhero film. I was so excited I quit my job the next day and then two months later I was here working on it and since then we've worked on some of the biggest superhero films ever and you know it's just a great experience or great joy coming into work where I can talk about this guy or that guy or this girl who I've been reading about since I was eight and that's part of my job. I suppose what gets me out of bed in the morning is the idea of actually making something really awesome. I'm quite lucky because my stage in the process of creating something is the very end bit where I actually make the thing. Figuring out that that's going to go out into the real world, being seen by millions of eyes on YouTube, potentially, hopefully. There's so much creativity, that there's so much culture coming together and different points of views you have to do a great job of it. It's quite a scary thing actually, putting something that was your idea that you've made and put all your love into, and then just putting it onto the internet for the whole population of the world to actually judge. I think that the most exciting thing about my role, which never gets old, is when you write a tweet and then someone like Dwayne Johnson retweets it, because that's happened before, and like no matter how many times it happens, I always lose my for this industry and for the for the area in the industry that we're in with virtual reality, there's this kind of crazy unknown future. You think of things like The Matrix or Total Recall, all these quite frightening films, but we are going to make a, a technology, or we're working on technology now as an industry, which will allow people to escape essentially into other worlds. And that can be completely fantastical. Every, every day is different, you know, every day is a new challenge. You're always learning something new. Do you want to travel? Do you want to play with cool stuff? work with amazing amazing clients brands and really there's only plus points you come to a cool environment every day i feel as excited as a player in the field doing what they love it doesn't necessarily feel like work most days <laughs> <laughs> Um, 